Hello and welcome. My name is Greg Crawford. I'm the editor of Tab Forum. Joined today by Jerry Gualtieri, CEO of Tradar. Jerry, thanks for joining us today. Yes, good morning. We're going to spend a few minutes talking about regulation in the hedge fund world. So uh, with that, Jerry, first of all, I just want to ask you, there seems to be uh, a movement afoot around the globe for regulation of hedge funds. And I uh, wonder if you could tell me a little bit about you know, how that's taking place in, in different parts of the world, because uh, it's a little bit different everywhere you look. Sure. Um, yeah, I mean, I think the, we'll start with the U.S. and then go around from there. Sure. I think in the U.S., obviously, Dodd-Franks is here, um, and lots of our hedge fund clients are looking to meet those requirements, which they have to be in place and registration with the SEC by June. Right. Um, so by end of June, early July. So there's a lot of work going on there, and, and that's very real. So that's something that's in place. Right. In, in Europe, um, the advent of USITS funds mm -hmm. um, has mean, meant that suddenly compliance is more important to hedge funds than it was before. And so lots of, lots of those funds, as they're regulated, now are now required to, uh, to conform with those regulatory requirements. Okay. Interesting, although there's no immediate regulation or plans for that in Asia at the moment, mm -hmm. um, we are seeing a sort of self-regulation going on, and it's really being driven by funds ensuring they've got operational and control uh, control in place to uh, attract the right investors, right. but also investors looking at a greater degree of scrutiny in terms of requirements and transparency. So the theme is investors are looking for more and more information, more detail, right. and on a more regular basis. Right. Now, in, are you seeing that, uh, even though that's taking place, as you say, in in Asia, but it seems like even in the U.S. and, and probably in Europe as well, investors are looking for the same thing, right? So it's kind of a getting pressure from both sides? Yes, I think so. And I think yeah. post the events that we're all aware of right. that happened in 2008, yeah. there, is a, there is a great deal of, uh, of, uh, of demand from investors for greater scrutiny. And then I think to be fair to the, to the hedge fund clients um, that we have, um, they're proactively taking those steps in place. So right. lots of them are putting these systems and processes in place well in advance of the formal announcement of any regulation. Okay. So, and to that point, Jerry, um, how are you guys working with clients since the, the structures are a little bit different everywhere you look, sure. how are you guys working with them to help them ensure that they're meeting, whether it's requirements or something that, you know, is, is moving down that path? Okay, so uh, we've, we've created a compliance framework in our latest release of our system that accommodates both uh, regulatory rules, so mm -hmm. support, for example, for usage, and design in such a way that, that further regulatory rules could be incorporated into that fairly easily okay. and actually added by our clients, but also a flexibility to add uh, ad hoc rules um, based on either prospectus or mandates from our clients. So that, that went into production midway through 2010, mm -hmm. and an enhanced release of that with some improvements around workflow uh, is actually coming out in the next month or two. Okay, and I guess given the, the sort of changing nature, continued evolution of the regulatory framework, it's likely you guys aren't going to be able to rest on your laurels. It'll be continuously upgrading right. and things like that, right? I think, I think okay. yes. I think anyone that's involved and close to the market is looking at more rather than uh, yeah. less regulation. Right. And so we'll continue to monitor that with, um, and actually stay in touch with the regulators and the authorities themselves to see um, what's coming down the track so that we're prepared for it. Okay, good. Very good. Well, I think we'll leave it there. Uh, again, my name is Greg Crawford. I am the editor of Tab Forum joined by Jerry Gualtieri, CEO of Tradar. Jerry, thanks for being here. Thank you.